Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and other sports news. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, Marcus Maidana is to fight Adrian the Problem Broner. I like Broner in the fight. Let's talk about it. Now, in my opinion, styles make fights. No fighter is unbeatable. Every fighter has some weaknesses. In my opinion, Adrian Broner is no different, right? I believe Adrian Broner is a bit stiff-legged, right? He doesn't move as well as you think. His feet are too wide apart. He's carrying luggage. By that I mean he has a defensive construct. He has his hands and his body in a certain way. Raised shoulder, chin tucked, right? He's doing certain things in the ring. I believe one of the secrets to boxing is to figure out how to travel lightly. You don't want to have too much luggage because if your opponent starts moving and you have to reset, you can only come forward once you sort through your baggage, right? Then an opponent can simply outmove you and out jab you, especially if that opponent has enough defense to fend off your charges once you catch up to him. Now, Broner is coming off of a split decision against Paulie Malinaji on a night that was not Malinaji's best night. In other words, if the Malinaji who beat Shashenko had shown up that night, Broner could well have a loss on his record. That kind of fighter who can stay outside, force Broner with his stiff legs spread wide apart to literally try to hopscotch over to him while trying to keep his stance and his baggage in order, right? That kind of opponent, George Groves, against James DeGale. Um, put another way, a fighter very much like Broner, in my opinion, was Kelly the Ghost Pavlik, right? Big time power, had his feet a bit wide apart, had his legs a bit stiff. You saw what happened when he faced Bernard Hopkins, more mobile, and Sergio Martinez, more mobile, right? That kind of fighter would give Broner all he can handle. Fortunately for Broner, he's not fighting that kind of fighter. He's fighting Marcus Maidana. Now, Maidana has had one of boxing's historical makeovers at the hands of one of the best trainers in the sport, Robert Garcia, right? The Maidana of 2009 no longer exists. This is a new Maidana who actually slips punches, right? Who actually comes in at a side profile, who actually triples the jab, right? This is a boxing Maidana. Here's the problem. What I've found is that you can give a fighter a new style. But as Mike Tyson famously said, everyone has a plan until they get hit in the mouth, right? Whenever the bullets start flying, Marcus Maidana sometimes will revert to old Marcus Maidana. You notice it in fights against Jose Cito Lopez and um, Soto Carras, where, particularly the Soto Carras fight, where there are times where Maidana and Carras actually exchange words, right? There are times where it looks like guys are hitting after breaks, right? Marcus Maidana gets caught up in the moment. He's not the kind of guy who gets hit in the mouth and then says, you know, I'm going to stick to my plan. I'm going to respond by moving away, shooting a jab, keeping distance. That's not Marcus Maidana. He gets hit in the mouth. He wants to hit you back in the mouth. He gets caught up in the moment. Now, Adrian Broner is a guy who, when he fought Paulie Malinacci, he was talking to him. Right? Broner, of course, is a bit outside the lines in pre-fight promotions. Things get heated. Then in the ring, 
Broner is a talker, right? He's a guy who gets under your skin, right? Understand, this is different than other guys, right? Other guys will beat the daylights out of you, but will do so silently. Not Broner. He's talking to you in the middle of the action. Now, Marcus Maidana, in my opinion, doesn't have the mobility to fight a Pauli Malignaggi type of fight. He's not a stick and mover behind a jab. Right? So I believe Marcus Maidana is going to find himself in close quarters with Adrian Broner. One of the secrets to Adrian Broner is that he, simply put, is one of the best defensive fighters in the game. Right? So as he's talking to you and as things get heated and as you start throwing extra hard punches and opening up, just understand that Adrian Broner's defense will be exemplary. He'll be blocking your shots. No matter how much trash talk there is, Broner will be blocking what you throw up close and will be countering you. Right? Broner is a guy who, quite frankly, there could be a war going on over his shoulder. And Broner is that level-headed guy who in the middle of chaos is able to operate. I don't believe Marcus Maidana is. The way I see this fight happening is Maidana trying to overpower Broner. Understand, fighting Broner is counterintuitive. You run up to him like Tony DeMarco did. You say, I'm just going to overwhelm this guy with big punches. Right? You try to elbow and muscle him, right? whether it's in the middle of the ring or on the side of the ring. And you're actually playing into Broner's game. Broner wants you running into his shoulder. He wants you going for broke. He wants you loading up on punches. He's a counterpuncher. He wants you to be silly enough to be throwing punches so he can counter you. And he wants you to be in front of him. What he doesn't want is you to be flicking a jab outside and then moving away from him. He needs for you to sit down at the chessboard. He wants to play chess. He can't handle the guy who moves away, doesn't sit down, right, is playing a different game, isn't up close trading tit for tat, right? He needs for you to be up close. I believe Marcus Maidana is going to lose his cool. I believe he's going to get up close to Adrian Broner, and then he's going to find out that he's only one of the two punchers in this fight. Broner can bang, especially when you're not moving, right? I'm expecting Broner's defense to win the day. I'm expecting Maidana's defense to fall apart. As this fight continues, if you look at Maidana's fights against Lopez and Soto Carras, you're going to see that both were close fights. Both Lopez and Soto Carras had their moments. Both Lopez and Soto Carras landed flush punches on Maidana. Now, when you look in an Adrian Broner fight, you're going to see entire fights where Adrian Broner barely gets touched. In other words, guys are punching him, but they're landing on shoulders, arms, they're landing on his luggage, right? His defensive construct. They're not landing flush on him. You don't see Broner fights where he suddenly has his head snapped back and he's getting hit and stuff like that. That's not who he is. He is a great defensive fighter, when you're right in front of him. And defense, literally, in my opinion, is at least half the game. I think Adrian Broner beats Marcus Maidana. Let me also point out that when Maidana fought Devin Alexander, and I understand Alexander's a southpaw. I understand Alexander 
moved more in that fight than I'm expecting Broner to move in this fight. But understand when they were in close, right? Madonna had a problem with Alexander's hand speed. Madonna had a problem with Alexander's boxing, right? His chess playing, right? I believe Madonna is going to have similar problems when he's up close with Adrian Broner, and I'm expecting him to be up close with Broner for most of this fight. Broner's not going to rob. Also, don't be confused. I know Madonna likes to muscle guys over to the ropes, but boxing has different styles, different personalities. Understand that Adrian Broner is comfortable over by the ropes. With his back up against the ropes, Adrian Broner is like Floyd Mayweather. Guys with great defense, quite frankly, in the ring don't care where they are. Also, up close, understand that Broner throws the shorter punches and has a very wicked uppercut. Also, between these two fighters, Adrian Broner, in my opinion, is the more accurate fighter. So I like Broner in this one. Marcus Madonna, of course, has a big punch and always has a puncher's chance in every fight. The hedge I recommend is Broner to win the fight, hedged with Madonna by KO, right? I'm expecting Adrian Broner to methodically outbox Marcus Madonna. Let me go one step further. I know Madonna has a tough guy reputation. That's well earned. But understand Madonna was down against Victor Ortiz, right? Understand Madonna was down against Amir Khan off a body shot. Understand another big secret with Adrian Broner is that Broner throws a withering, and I do mean withering, left hand to the body. Don't rule out the possibility that Broner is simply too skilled for Marcus Maidana. There is a possibility that Broner wins this fight by knockout. So I'm staying away from Adrian Broner by decision. I just prefer to take Broner to win the fight because quite frankly I'm expecting him to outclass Marcus Maidana and if he does so anything is possible. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.